Um, first, Wikipedia has something to say about mental illness. <clears throat> Wiki says, Mental illness or mental disorder refers to one of many mental health conditions characterized by distress, impaired cognitive functioning, atypical behavior, emotional dysregulation, and or maladaptive behavior. Definitions, assessments, and classifications of mental disorders may vary. However, guideline criteria listed in the ICD, DSM, and other manuals are widely accepted by mental health professionals. Categories of diagnosis in these schemas may include mood or affective disorders, anxiety disorders, psychotic disorders, eating disorders, developmental disorders, personality disorders, and many other categories. Symptoms of mental illness greatly vary dependent upon the specific disorder, but many include mild to chronic forms of depression, anxiety, emotional dysregulation, difficulties with attention, loss of cognitive abilities, or the presence of hallucinations or delusions. Causes of mental illness also vary, but may result from genetics, trauma, biological factors such as infections or toxins, or neuroplasticity resulting from psychological or anthropological factors. Mental health professionals diagnose individuals using different methodologies, which may or may not include obtaining a medical or psychopathological history of a patient, performing a mental status examination, conducting psychological testing such as the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory or Intelligence Quotients Tests, obtaining neuroimages through functional magnetic resonance imaging or positron emission topography scanning, or other neurophysiologic measurements such as electroencephalography, mental health professionals will treat mental disorders differently using one or a combination of psychotherapy, psychiatric medication, case management, or other practices. Now cannabis has a lot to do with mental illness. And I'm not trying to say that in a negative way. I think some people are, most people are mentally ill. In other words, the, the way that the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical um, Manual for Psychology, defines mental illness, every person alive is going to fall into some classification that is named as some kind of disorder and there's going to be some kind of a treatment that you should be seeking for it. Um, we all have something. We're, we're all obsessive about something. We all have compulsions. Uh, we all have these, these emotional niches that we get stuck in and we obsess about certain people, certain ideas, certain places. Um, and no one is normal. Normal is a bell curve. Um, but people fall somewhere within. But there's no one kind of person that it is normal to be. And cannabis has been shown to stimulate neurogenesis. And neurogenesis is what keeps us from becoming mentally ill. Like seriously mentally ill. Um, we're all crazy, but we're not all mentally ill. That's a good, that's a good way to put it. We all have... Um, something unstable about us because we, we are evolving people. We are a consciousness coming to know the world in a more uh, awakened way all the time. So we're, we're unstable, we're creative, and if we don't have the neurogenesis to support this kind of outward growth almost, or this webbing of reality that, that connects us with the truth, if we don't have the ability to keep generating that and sustaining it, we become um, dysfunctional in a way. We, we, get, we get Alzheimer's. And it's interesting that cannabis has been shown to prevent Alzheimer's because it keeps this neurogenesis, uh, this process of neurogenesis going. Um, so, yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there.